Electro's this guy who wants electricity. He survives on electric pulses to exist. So what better place, what more terrifying place to put him in than uh, Times Square? Four, five, six. Trying to destroy Times Square, as accommodating as New York was, they really were not prepared for us to do the kind of damage that we needed to do. The idea of building Times Square was so absurd to me, but nobody really batted an eye, and I guess that's the benefit of having a big budget. Under mask that goes underneath the suit. It basically smooths out the face, takes away any contours. Uh, it also, this is where the eyes connect. They get pushed in and then magnetized here. Ill Rom and William are just, you know, two of my favorite people because they made me look so good. But what it is between the three of us is, is it feels like a true collaboration because it's never about ego, it's always about who can do the stunt best. Whether that's me, William, or Ilram. And it's all about making sure the character is served. And that's what's awesome about it. We built a 150 foot segment or a run or a little runway that we used over and over again throughout the sequence to shoot all the practical elements. It's like designing a ballet, I mean, that sounds ridiculous to say, but there's a confrontation of really unique abilities. This guy, Electro, who can jump through space and reappear and dematerialize, and having Spider-Man having to fight that. How to play with that imagery and how to exploit the interesting visual opportunities, it was so much fun to do. It was one of the more fun sequences I've, I've ever done. The clock tower sequence came about, it was one of the first things we talked about because we knew what had to happen there, what had to transpire. Yeah! It's a really tedious kind of thing, but then when you cut it together, it, it feels uh, rapid. So there's that sort of tedium that preceded what we all knew was gonna be the most important scene of the movie, which is Gwen's death and Peter's realization of what had happened. I wanted the last moment to be an embodiment of the theme or this idea that you can't stop time. Andrew, not having seen Emma for several days, walking in and discovering that moment without rehearsal, only surrendering to that moment as an actor. And I think it allowed him to reach a depth of performance <laughs> that is very difficult to achieve. And it feels real. Oh, please, please. 